Sounds good, and it looks good what we're making today. Tell the folks what you've brought this morning, Scott. Well, it's a great time of year. You get a wonderful fresh uh, fish, so I brought some amberjack here. Uh, we're going to do a little lobster, we'll saute it up a little bit, and make a very light uh, lime and truffle butter uh, sauce go over top of it. Wow, sounds so good. And you guys always have stuff going on at Pinzones. Mm -hmm. What's the latest, and how did the big uh, wine party go? Recently? It was a great, great, great time. I yeah. mean, you know, when Harrison started it off and we ended up with the Mulligan Brothers, I mean, everybody in between was just fantastic. Yeah, great. that was some of the great musicians yeah. that were out there for yep. the big festival that you guys had. Yep. All right, so a lot of things going on yep. in Fairhope with Pinzones. Now, what do we need to do this morning to get this stuff started? I got the pan hot. We're going we're gonna to gonna broil this uh, first here. And mm -hmm. I'm going to add that. And I'm just going to add one of these right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you got that ready to go right away. Oh, now, yeah. Now, is there a difference between cooking with this type of fish than others? Do you have any tips while working with that? Uh... You know, some fish works better um, in certain ways. Like this could be a great, you could grill this, uh, mm -hmm. but this works really good with, with broiling. And broiling is going to be a combination heat method where you add a little, little liquid to it, a uh, little dry heat. So this one just holds up, makes it real nice and juicy and doesn't dry out too much. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of um, fish stock. And fish stock is very simple. You can just take, um, you know, if you, if you skin some fish, you know, um, just take the bones and just put them in a pan, roast them up with a little vegetables. Got a little quick fish stock there. Mm -hmm. We'll add a little white wine. And we'll let this cook. And then we're going to end up putting it in the, in the oven a little bit. Now, we're going to take a little fresh lime here. And the lime will? Uh, will make it taste great. Will make it taste <laughs> great. <laughs> but it also, um, the acid in the, in the lime is like, um, kind of like salt. It just brings the flavor out. I won't necessarily over, overpower it with the lime flavor, mm -hmm. but it'll bring out the natural flavors of, it'll combine the, the flavor of the wine, combine the flavor of the, the fish stock, and of course the fish. All right, so for that, you use about half a lime. About to half do a that lime, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to let that cook a little bit. Sure. Season it. A little sea salt. And then... We'll end up sticking in the oven. We'll be good to go. All right. So if the folks out there have missed your festival or haven't been to Fairhope recently, mm -hmm. tell them once again where you're located and what type of atmosphere they should expect if they come to visit you at Pinzone. I think you expect just an experience, a very unique experience. Um, we have a, a village and like different rooms and different buildings all throughout. So every time you come in and sit at a different place, you're going to have a totally different view. But it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a special place. It's a great yeah. time. Definitely a special place. You'll have to go mm -hmm. and check out for yourself. All the information about how to get to Pinzones is online as well as the recipe for this fantastic dish we're working on. What are we going to do when we come back in a little while? Oh, when we come back, we're going to do the, uh, do the sauce. Okay. And um, then we'll be good to go. Then it's going to be good to go. Yeah. Sounds like a good time to me. Welcome back and thank you for joining us. Have Scott and Katie from Penzone's Italian Village. A lot going on. Went from Italian downtown to it's an Italian village yeah. now because you guys have your main restaurant. Mm -hmm. You have the deli, which Katie's going to talk a little bit about. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been talking about, all of these fun things. But first, before we get to that, let's talk about what we're cooking. Yeah, we're doing this uh, Amberjack. We're going to make the sauce. Sauce is very simple. This would be from around... Uh, uh, Northern Italy, a little cream involved uh, in it, and some garlic, of course, but uh, using the fresh seafood, seafood from the Liguria area. But what we do, we're using our lobster and our um, amberjack, of course. Okay, so this is pretty easy. You make it, it, you make it sound easy anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh, here it is. Yeah, just, just, here. just do this. I always say that it's so simple, even a Scott can do it. So. <laughs> okay. So a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. and just put the lobster in. Yeah, and the lobster's already cooked because you have to. Um, you have to steam it to get to extract the meat from it. So, okay. No more lime, of course. All right. Mmm, that smells good. Yeah. Ooh, and the wine's gonna make it smell even better. Yeah. Now, speaking of, you guys have your own wine, which is something that we were talking about during the commercial break. Yeah, we had um, we had a wine and music festival a couple weekends ago to launch our new wine that we got in from Florence, Italy. And when Scott was here the last time, he had his sample bottle yeah. that he brought back from Florence. Um, but now we have the real bottle in, oh, and um, it's a nice label, Penzones. It's our private label, and um, it's for sale in the deli that we now have. Um, 
from the Village Deli, which is now open. It's open every day from uh, like 10 to 4, 10 to 5. Okay. And uh, we have some different stuff. Actually, Scott's going to be using one of our items today. It's the black truffle butter that we sell, and he's going to mm -hmm. be using this in the sauce. Um, but we also have some blue cheese olives. We have fig and walnut cheese, cranberry macadamia, um, garlic and herbs, goat cheese. This sparkling blood orange soda right here is great. And we have strawberry. But just, you know, different risottos, just a big little area that you can come in for a one-stop shop. So, okay, so yeah. you can go in, you can have dinner at the restaurant, and then go to the mm -hmm. deli and get some things mm -hmm. to take home right. and make it yourself. Mm -hmm. Very okay. nice. And where are you located? Uh, we're at 312 Fairhope Avenue, right in between Church Street and Section Street, uh, right in the heart of downtown Fairhope. Very easy to find, and again, it is a village. I mean, right, right. in the middle, you can't miss it. Yep. So let's talk about what you're adding now. We don't want to miss anything. Just a little heavy cream. I don't like to cook with too much cream, but uh, this is representative of northern Italy. You'll see more cream up, the, up around that area. Uh, so we're going to put that in the sauce here. It's going to reduce a little bit. We're going to add a little fresh mint, a little fresh mm -hmm. basil. Those are two... Um, they go great with lime. They go in the, the lobster, and these are great pairings here. Really good. Oh, it just smells phenomenal. And how long do you want to cook this? Uh, just for a few minutes. I mean, just long enough for the sauce to get the consistency that you want. So it'll it'll cook. Uh, we'll have it ready um, after the next break. So you don't want it too thick, but not too thin. No, just I mean, some people like a real thick sauce. I don't like it real real thick, but no, um, this would be just, just rice enough to drizzle over. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Now make sure you get this recipe. You don't want to miss this one. It is on our website. Right now, fox10tv.com. It's on the Studio 10 page. You'll also find more information about pen zones. And when we come back, we'll finish things up and taste test. Back with Scott and Katie from Pinzone's Italian Village, and we are working on a seafood magnificent dish today. We tell the folks what we're doing, Scott. Uh, we broiled uh, amberjack, and you can use any kind of fish, uh, snapper, I mean, in season now, so that'd be great. You could use that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we just a little fresh lobster. You can substitute crab, you know, crawfish, whatever you want to do. Wow, man. It smells so good. Looks Thank you. so good. All we're going to do now is just add a little bit of this truffle butter. I say a little, I may add a little lot to it. Yeah. But I like it. You know, yeah. nothing wrong with a little bit of that. Yep. There we go. Let's let that melt, and that's going to just incorporate the flavor in there. Then we're good. And then, as we were talking about earlier, Cherish mentioned the word, are you going to kind of drizzle that on top there? Mm hmm. All right, so we'll continue to work on that, and when you're ready to go, you can go ahead and do that. Katie is the event planner for Pin Zones, as well as doing a number of other things. She's multi talented. Let's talk about some of those events coming up at Pin Zones, and what can you tell us about that? Okay, well, first of all, of course, we have Father's Day coming up sure. this Sunday, and um, along with our normal Bellini brunch that we have, um, we are going to have a salmon risotto and a mm. filet marsala with um, mashed cauliflower. And then also, not just Father's Day, but coming up on Thursday, June 20th, we are going to have an Elizabeth Spencer wine dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be featuring all the Elizabeth Spencer wines. And then Scott will be preparing um, dishes that are going to be in the steakhouse that's coming later mm -hmm. this summer. Wow. So this is a great um, wine event to come to because you'll get the really good food at this yeah. <laughs> and, um But if you start at our restaurant at the beginning of Fairhope Avenue and mm -hmm. you walk through, you'll see the main restaurant and then we have two banquet rooms that we've been throwing tons of bridal brunches and rehearsal dinners and receptions and um, just, you know, any kind of event that you have going on business meetings have been booking um, and then you can walk on back and we now have our wine bars open it's open mm -hmm. seven days a week you can eat lunch or dinner in there and then also our deli with all of these great items and you can buy our wine in there now so we have a lot going on um, but yeah in the festival past couple of weeks ago. It went great. Great turnout. So we're really excited about all the events going on. We also have a private upstairs um, apartment suite type mm -hmm. thing that you can rent for a few hours at night. Um, and you, there's like a couch and a kitchenette and a bathroom and you get to sit out on this balcony overlooking the restaurant and your wow. server comes mm -hmm. up to you and waits on you and brings you your wine. So any, you know, anniversary, first date, proposals, anything like that. It's It'd be great pretty venue. big for a first date. Yeah. yeah hey, you'd really it all on there. Yeah. Yeah. On that one. So <laughs> lots of fantastic things happening at Pinzones. This is the finished product here. It looks fantastic. The recipe is online. Go check it out and we'll be right back.